The Lord said, make sure you anoint everybody before they go. I don't know the details, but I just believe the Lord. Hear the word of God from this day. Because it's a covenant month when God will make a way for us. If your amen will be louder than your name, I do not care where, when, how. He will make a way for you. Everyone saying amen, the Lord will make a way for you. If there's a door that has been shut, it shall be opened again. If there's a place they say no way, they will say there's a way now. If I will hear your Lord say amen, you are the one I've just preached to. Therefore, this morning, before that anointing come upon your head, the Lord said, I should share a mystery with you. It will take me just about 10, 15, 20 minutes, and I just want to listen carefully. I want to show you what made the difference between you and some other people. You have the same qualification. You are equally endowed. But have the same certificate. Sometimes maybe you attend the same church. Sometimes maybe you pray in the same way. So many things may be the same. But at certain point, something distinguishes some people. Please, let me your ears now. You must catch it. It's a revelation. At certain point, something always happens. Among other things, the Lord said, those of us who have been helped to discover some mystery, share it with other people. If you have your Bible, take that Bible and turn with me to 2 Samuel. And I want the people in media to help me look for living Bible. That would be okay. I will walk it down in 15 minutes. You just learn this. You will need this not only today, for the rest of your life. Because at, at a point in your life, what I want to share with you will show up. I don't care who you are. Big, small, you want to become governor, president, it doesn't matter. At a point, you show. You want to get married, you want to get a job, I don't care. I do not care what you're looking for. At a point, this matter will show up. So it's either you have it, or you don't have it. And if God permit me, I will share some stories with you that I've never shared outside. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. You will make it. <laughs> Second Samuel chapter number 6. I want your attention, please. Second Samuel chapter number 6. A very familiar story. But there's a mystery the Lord wants me to unravel within a short time today. Second Samuel chapter number 6. I'm reading from verse number 14. To 23. Second Samuel chapter number 6 from verse 14. And David danced. <laughs> Agada yada. Imahushia. Hmm, thank you, Holy Spirit. David did what? Talk to me. David did what? If God permits me, maybe when I'm running up, I give us five minutes to dance again. If you are too big to dance today, I want a village here if you are No apology to anybody here. I mean what I said. If you are too big to dance on a day like this, your village people will see after you. Especially to God who created you. You need help. And David danced before the Lord with all. Talk to me. With what? There is a difference between dancing and dancing. Virtually every group, you see me standing, or you think I'm crazy? No, brother, I know what I'm doing. With all this in mind, you can dance, but without all your might. And David was guarded with a leaning helper. So David and all his house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting. So how do they do their dancing? With what? Note of what they are saying with shouting. So, on a day like this, if you don't like to shout, I don't know what you are doing. The house of God is not a burial ground. Amen. With all shouting and with the trumpet. Brethren, do we have trumpet in the house today? We are, we don't have, okay, anyway, whatever we are, we use it. And with the trumpet, and as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, 
Please, let me your ears. <laughs> this life is mystery. <laughs> As the act of the Lord came into the city of David, Micah, Saul's daughter, looked through the window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. Babadari Oluari, we mumuwe. Ah, along with Nimua. <laughs> One, she could not dance. She should have lived those who are dancing to dance. She saw somebody dancing and despised in the heart, not outside, but God saw the heart. I so said, You, okay. But she's not my problem for today. Another day I will talk about her. There are several reasons why she did what she did, but that's not my focus. Don't let me be distracted. I tie to that the foolishness of Micah. We will deal with that another day. Verse 17. And they brought in the ark of the law and set it in its place and the midst of the tabernacle that David had pitched for it. And David offered. He did what? Talk to me. So whatever we are offering this morning, we are not outside the scripture. We are just following the Bible. Hello. Hey, what is he? What is your long journey? Let's just dance. Why, why all this one? Hey, brother, check your Bible. That's what makes some people different from other people. Offer bone offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. As we are preparing for jubilation, I let this man do say, Son, praise God, jubilation has come. He said, Yes. Which group do you belong? I said, I belong to all groups, sir. I belong to all. By the way, those of you who send me material clothes, all the groups, God bless you. I say, I belong to all groups, sir. But I got the message. The message is not which group do I belong to. <laughs> I know I'll be seated there and they'll be doing a lot of things. What am I going to do? They say, God, you know me. I'm not stupid. Am I crazy, pastor? Sitting down, seeing them giving something, I'm not giving something. I must be mad. Say, God, trust your son. I'm also ready. Amen. I say amen. amen. I am not a spectator. Amen. So I said to you immediately, this is also sir, for you also, unto you, sir. Thank you. Verse 18. And as soon as David had made an end of offering, burnt offering and peace offering, he blessed the people. He did what? Before blessing the people, they dance, they sing, they jump, they make sacrifice. Now he blessed the people. There's an order. So he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. And he dealt among the people, even among the whole quantity of Israel, as well as to the women and the men, to everyone the cake of bread and a gold piece of flesh. And flagon of wine. So all the people departed, everyone to his house. Verse 20. Then David returned to his house to bless his household. As you return home today, if it is just one minute, bless your household. Is that clear with everybody here? Every one of you bless your household when you return home. Just say, I bless everybody in the name of the Lord. And bless his household. And Michael, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David. She despised in the heart, but she did not stop like that. Those whom God will destroy, they won't stop until they are destroyed. No matter what you preach, what you say, some people will just hear. But we will not be one of them. So she came out to meet David and said, <laughs> How glorious was the king of Israel today, who uncovered himself today in the highest of the handmaid of his servants, a one with fair fellows. That's this woman talking now, referring those who are thanking God as fair fellows. It doesn't matter what people call you, you just stay with God. Hallelujah. One with these same fellows shamelessly uncovered themselves. And David said unto Micah, it was before the Lord which shoes me before your father and before the house of before all his house to appoint me ruler over the people of Israel. 
Therefore, we lie play more before the Lord. Now we be more vile than this. We be base in my own sight. Now that the may sound we that was spoken me of, of them shall I add in honor. Verse 23. Therefore, Micah, the daughter of Saul, our new child, until the day of our death. Whatever blessing you're supposed to enjoy in this life, as your amen thunder, you will enjoy it. Very quickly, give me a living Bible. Let's see how we can work it out. From 20, 21, 22, that should be okay. Living Bible, I told you earlier on, those of you are there, I said we need the living Bible translation. Holy Ghost help us. All right, anybody who have living Bible, just come and help me to read so that we save time. The living Bible in the house, anybody? Holy Ghost help us. Okay. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. In the living Bible, the Bible says in verse 21, here the Bible says in King James, and David said unto Micah, to before the Lord which shows me before your father, before his house, to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord, and over Israel, have I please. In the living Bible, it said, I said, living Bible. This is new translation. Okay. David retorted to Micah, I was dancing before the Lord, who shoots me above your father and all his family. Who shoots me above who? Your father and all his family. Do we have the living Bible? There is a word there I want to use if you have it. Even though it's com com communicating the same thing. Who shoots me above your father? Praise the Lord. Living Bible said, I'm dancing before the Lord God of heaven and now. Who prefer me to your father? Briefly, I want to talk to you on what I tie to. David's secret of preference. Just listen. I'll just give you the nutshell. That will be okay for today. I'm not preaching long sermon. David's secret of preference. In life and destiny, what we call spiritual preference is a force. David's secret of preference. What we call spiritual preference is a force. Be it physical or spiritual, there is what we call preference to prefer somebody. Everything is not about labor. Everything in life is not about strength. Everything in life is not about qualification. There are certain things that happen by preference, by preference, by preference, by preference. Sometimes you get something not because you are qualified, but because you are just preferred. You can choose something by your preference. There are things that you become by preference. It has nothing to do with your strength. It is only that you are just preferred. Lift up your right hand. From this afternoon as you live here, anywhere they are sipping anything good as your amen told that may you be preferred. Amen. Let me hear that amen. Lord. May you be preferred. Amen. If you say amen again, may you be preferred. As I say amen, may you be preferred. If you say amen, may you be preferred. If you are saying amen, may you be preferred. At certain point in life, you can't explain how, why some people get it and you don't get it. That's what I'm telling you. At certain point, you can't explain why some people are the one that are making it. You are not making it. You can't explain it. At certain point, you can't you can explain why some people are getting married, getting joy, getting children, or so many good, and you are not. Not because they are doing anything better than you. But that's what we call preference. This morning, the oil that is coming on your hair is going to be a hall of preference. Yeah. I may not be talking to everyone, I'm talking to some people. Anywhere you go in the midst of multitude, God will prefer you. Yeah. Men will prefer you. Yeah. If you are saying amen, you shall be preferred. Yeah. I say you will be preferred. I say you will be preferred. If you are saying amen, you will be preferred. Yeah. Can any of you pastor just come around? If you are, can just help me, come. Be fast. Don't want to waste my time. Look up. Let me just do this little drama. You are married now. With children. As at the time you got married to your wife. Just be blunt. Don't hide anything. Just be sincere. Is she the only lady you know? Or the only lady you see? How you do? How you do? Huh? 
Can you get me more mic here, please? I want to show you something you may not believe, but that is truth. And I will tell you the spiritual implication of what I do. Is she the only one? No, sir. No, sir. So there might be some other ladies. Yes, sir. But at the end of the day, you settle for her. Yes, sir. Why? Uh, because I was convinced. No. All right. She's you are convinced. You pray. Yes, but yes, the summary of it, you just prefer her. Yeah, that's true, sir. Because she's the most beautiful. That's not true. Sir. Because she's the most Miss Nigeria. That's not true. Sir. Because the father is the richest. That's not true. Because sir. she's from your village. That's not true, sir. Hello? Look up. Some things happen in life not by any factor. Somebody just prefers somebody. Lift up your hand. I'm sharing with you something deep that you don't know. I will share some testimony. God permit me. In the midst of multi because bro, you, not that they know it for. Um, please come. Are you, what are you, are you see the same thing I'm looking for? Just come. You come on. Wale, wale. Why you can't explain? And you don't know the fellow. I decree under God. The opposite of preference is rejection. Everyone whose amen will thunder on this covenant day of jubilation, as you say amen, may you be preferred. Amen. Wherever you go, you shall be preferred. Amen. Your application will be preferred. Amen. Your career will be preferred. Amen. Your proposal will be preferred. Amen. Your family will be preferred. Amen. Your children will be preferred. Amen. Your qualification will be preferred. Say, so, oh God, let the anointing for preference come upon me. Upon me. Upon me. Upon me. Upon me. You all know your daddy is not a politician. I don't belong to any party. But take it or leave it. At certain point also, people vote for whoever they prefer. If they start to share money, it doesn't share money, it doesn't matter. At a certain point in their mind, they just make up their mind. It doesn't matter what you say. Lift up your hand. From today, everywhere where issues of destiny are to be sorted out, if your amen will be louder than your neighbor, you shall be preferred. Amen. For the next promotion, the next lifting, in your place of work, in your place of peace, for the next contract to be awarded, somebody will say, hey, man, yeah, you will be preferred. Hey, man. You will be preferred. Hey, man. They will prefer you. Hey, man. They will prefer you. They will prefer you. Hey, they will prefer you. Hey, if your hey, man, will turn, you will be preferred. Hey, man. Have your seat. When you are preferred, you will be selected. You are not selected here because they did not prefer you. When they prefer, they select you. Two, when you are preferred, you will be favored. You can't be preferred and not be favored. It's not possible. When you are preferred, you will be favored. Number three, when you are preferred, you will be loved. You can't prefer somebody and hate the person at the same time. If you hate the person, you are only wasting your time because hatred will not amount to anything. The more you hate the person, the more the God will be lifting other person. So when you are preferred, you'll be loved. Number four, when you are preferred, you'll be considered. They will consider you. Consider your proposal. Consider your application. Consider whatever. When you are preferred, you will be considered. Number five, when you are preferred, you'll be honored. I'm just mentioning that I can't teach them now. Number six, when you are preferred, you will be exempted. They may want to attack other people. Say, no, don't attack that one. Leave him. They may deny other people say, no, 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 give to that person. Everybody say, no, 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 say this one, give him. You are exempted from something negative. Why? Because you are preferred. They may not be able to explain it, but because you are preferred, they exempt you from the trouble. Others are going through, you are not going through it. Why? You are preferred. I don't know if the person is here. You shall be preferred. Amen. Why can't I hear your amen? You shall be preferred. Amen. Let me hear your amen again. You shall be preferred. Amen. When you are preferred, you will be promoted. You can't be preferred and remain at the same level. It's not possible. Number nine, or whatever you are, when you are preferred, you will be forgiven. Everybody may commit sin, may go into error, may do something wrong. The moment they prefer you, they forgive you. They overlook it for you. When you are preferred, you will be remembered. 
The only reason why you have forgotten is because you are not preferred here. The day God prefer you, the day men prefer you, they will remember you. After this meeting, everyone saying, Amen, may you be remembered. Amen. Of course, when you are preferred, you'll be singled out for recognition. In the midst of multitude, they single you out. I don't know if the person is here. After this encounter, after this covenant jubilation, you shall be preferred. Amen. I say you shall be preferred. I'm sharing on the message, David's secret of preference. David himself was talking to Micah when the woman was trying to abuse her and him, you know, you know, harass him. I mean, abuse him, harass him, and that kind of thing because we're praising the Lord. He said, Woman, just don't shut up your mouth, whatever your problem is. If you do want to thank God, that's ready. If you want to praise God, that's ready. You do want to judge me, that's ready. If you do want to give something to God, that is ready. Anyway, for all the nonsense you are saying, you say, Why am I doing it? I am doing it to God who prefer me. That was how I was looking for translation of me in living Bible. Who prefer me to your father? Allah unfair on me, Juba He prefer me. Age, we are not in the same category. Older than me, strength, wife, everything have more than me. But God prefer me. Who is the one God will prefer here? Rise on your feet. Do me a favor. Walk to five. Say, after this meeting, don't envy me. Oh, because I am the preference. I am the one God prefer. Go ahead and tell five people after this meeting, don't envy me. His preference. It's God's preference. It's God's preference. He just make up his mind to prefer me. God has determined to prefer. He is me. Don't, don't, don't argue with me. His preference. Amen. Can I hear some shout like this? Amen. I'm trying to show you now why you have to do what you are doing and why some of us need to do it again and why when you have another body, do it well. Have your seat. Going through the scripture, I can show you so many cases, but there's no time. Father Abraham was preferred from his generation. So God called him out, not because he did anything extraordinary. No, God just picked him from the multitude. God picked him from the family out. God picked him in his own day, in his own day, in his own generation. And God decided to say, well, you are going to become my beloved. You know the rest of the story. Solomon also was preferred. As a matter of fact, Solomon was given back to by a woman that you should not, even, should not have anything to do with God. But who are you to question God? And among the sons of David, God preferred Solomon. Amen. Moses also was present in the whole generation. We have all the elders. But God shows Moses. I mean, we have so many sons in that day in those days that were born in Egypt, and God preferred Moses above all of them. They were killing all the male children, but God preserved his life, and God chose to choose him. Again, talk about Joshua. Among all the elders that work with Moses, God preferred Joshua. So this thing is real, sir. But today I'm learning down on David. What were his secrets? From this story alone, I just want to pick up our five things. Number one, good thinking. What did I call it now? Why did David dance like a crazy man? I was living another translation earlier this morning. He said, and he danced like a madman. And I love that one. He said, he danced like a madman. He said, like a crazy man. Another translation said, he danced a full dance. I love it. Why will God, why will David do all those ones? Number one, good thinking. He can think well about God doing in his life. We are God picking from. Look up. You can't think well about God and you will not dance before God. Yesterday was Saturday, is that correct? Very early yesterday morning, I could receive a call. They will be sharing it this morning at the right time. I received a call while waiting on God and it was, I mean, allow me. Daddy, where are you, sir? Daddy, where are you, sir? Somebody's calling, another person is calling. What's going on? I said, there is a war, sir. There is a problem. And when they be, I mean, it was a war. Wherever you are now, you will show up. We are coming now to meet you now. And then they brought over daughters here. It was a mess. What's going on? Yes, sir. They are beating drum on my head now. Everybody weeping. You know that is not ordinary. Immediately I change, switch to the realm of the spirit. Say, let's meet on the altar. Ask some few questions, and what happened? The Lord said to call authority. Ask some questions, they'll say, no, just don't worry yourself. Just do this, do this, do that. That fellow is here today celebrating with us. <laughs> they are here celebrating with us now. Yesterday. That can turn to madness. You don't know me when somebody says, well, they are beating something he said. He can need to. And everybody crying, everybody shouting, running up and down. They, they got here like mad people yesterday, all of them. And nobody could explain. That is how some people became insane. 
When the Lua go here, titi your mama ja, to the mama ja, to mama's. The person not begin to dance outside. You will not know what happened. Gone. But God stopped it. And you now say me, I should not think. I should not thank God. Keep yourself to yourself. Leave me alone. I share my own story with you. How they sent arrow in those days. And the arrow came from wherever it came from. And I got up from where I was sleeping. Real life. And I was running everywhere the wrong main road. And everybody was running everywhere looking for me. They could not find me. My mother began to cry. Ran to another house. From that house, beat everybody I found there as a young man. Ran to the backyard. Climbed a very terrible fence. Jumped into the bush. I can't explain all that happened. Only God knows what they will have done. The mercy kept me. So me, she want to do Kini mo fe fun Allah won sin to je nkan kan. Opo lo sele si ti on recover. You know our problem? Many of us can't think. That's a problem I don't know. So the number one secret of David why he was preferred was thinking. Tell your neighbor say neighbor from today be a good thinker. Let me help you. Say, neighbor, you are not as strong as you think you. It is mercy that kept you. Number two, David's secret, humility. It takes an humble man to dance the way he dances. It takes an humble man to remove his garment and dance like a crazy man. Take it or leave it. Leave it in a moment. This man was an humble man. I beg you by the master of the Lord. You want to be preferred in life, in destiny. Embrace humility. I can tell you like I know my name. There is nothing in pride. Odolo The Bible said God give grace to the humble. And he resists who? Why will God resist you? And men will like you. Just fight it. It's a spirit. Fight it. Just say to yourself, No. There's no one I can't pursue for. He doesn't introduce me. And some of us, even those who are giving battle inside the ministry, who are giving battle under our nose here, battle, they want to greet him. Morning, daddy. Yeah, yeah. As if they are bigger than who they are. And I said to myself, when this one becomes anything, what would they do? Amen. Simple courtesy. Simple home instruction. Some of you young, young guys, you can't even greet your own mother in your own house. You can't greet your father in your own house. Wake up in the morning, you can't kneel down to greet your own parents. And we say, we are, we are old school. What kind of new school is that? And don't you know that some of the guys who want to marry will be checking you? Humility is an asset, sir. Pride is a liability. Number three, focus. The third secret of David was he was a man of focus. A man of focus. What do I mean? He never care what anybody thinks. He never care what you see him. That is your idea. We were bringing in the hack of God and he was jumping and dancing. Blessing the Lord. How will people see him? What will they say? What are they thinking? It's none of Joseph's business. I mean, David cares. He only focus on God. Amen. I say amen. From this day, may anointing for focus come upon you. When you are focused, nobody can distract you. Men of focus are men on a mission. Hello, sir. We announced this meeting maybe about four or five months ago. We just kept ourselves to focus. Not you care. It's not my business. That is what we are doing. And we are getting it done. When you are focused, you don't listen to side talk. You don't have time. You are just focused on your goal. May I say with all humility, whether you like it or not, I don't care what you do or what you don't do, there will be side talk. Focus on your destiny. Some people are professional side talkers. There's nothing you can do about that one. Just focus on your destiny. Am I talking to anybody here? And can't you see this is your jubilation now? Um, I don't even understand. Where are they buying yam now? Who want to eat the yam now? By the way, this yam, where are they taking it to? Are we not wasting our yam? Yeah, yeah. Tell your neighbor, yeah, yeah. When many of us are out there and our parents will take us to our list, we buy a kind of thing we don't talk. Some of us will want to do ceremony, all kind of ceremony, burial ceremony, name ceremony, all kind of birthday party. We can buy things that go into millions, we won't talk. But when it comes to God, don't you know the spirit behind that statement is from the devil? That is when we now begin to rationalize. Am I talking to anybody here? 
Everything, all the groups brought together this morning, one of us can buy it. Am I communicating of God? All, all the groups put together, one of us can buy it. Yes or no? Just one function, one ceremony. You alone can do that. So what's the big deal? Doing something for God. It's value. What do I call it now? Value. God forbid any old one dying now, and there's a burial ceremony. You will see how people will do, do drama. And you will never believe they can do that. But when it is God, that's what Mama said. He's saying, that Mama Joe was saying, Akayaba. No wonder the Holy Ghost can't speak. It's searching the heart. From today, may the Lord find you. What's the first secret of David? Talk to me. What's the first secret of David? What's the second secret of David? Huh? What the thought sacred service of David? Oh. Number four, sense of gratitude. What do I call it now? Sense of gratitude. This man have a heart of gratitude. Say, so I will give glory to God who kept me, who made me who I am, who make all things happen. He valued God. No wonder. God will prefer him. From this day, as you also begin to have this sense of gratitude, may the Lord prefer you. Amen. Let me hear someone say, Amen. May God prefer you. Let me hear your image. May God prefer you. Let me hear your image. May God prefer you. Number five, consistency. What do I call you now? Consistency. He said, which is so mild, he said to Micah, I have not just been seen as a fool. He said, even after this, what I have done. Talk to me now. I will do what? Talk to me. I will do what? After I will still do more. That means if you think I've seen anything, you're on your own. Because I'm still going to do more. I will see be more foolish, consistent. When you are persuaded of the God you serve, you'll be consistent. Consistent in blessing him, consistent in serving him, consistent in worshiping him, consistent in giving me time, consistent in doing anything. It's not that because you have done it once and so that's it. No, 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 no. You are just on. Today you are doing it. Next year you are doing it. Nothing stops you. Consistency. Can somebody say amen here? And finally for today, loyalty. David was loyal to God. Loyal to God. Loyal to his calling. Loyal to the oil on his head. It was the ark they were bringing home, and that was why he was thanking God. But loyal to God who make it possible for him. That was why nothing can distract him. I want to beg everyone today, you want to be a prophet? Be a loyal believer. Be loyal to God. Be loyal to the oil of God on your head. Be loyal to the counsel of God for your life. Be loyal wherever you find yourself, to your husband, to your wife. Be loyal to the house of God, the church where you are serving. Be loyal. There are five things you will never do when you are loyal. Number one, when you are loyal, you don't allow anybody to distract you. You don't allow people to distract you. Mm-hmm. Who do cares? Two, when you are loyal, you don't allow people to speak evil of what you believe in. Loyal people will allow those, anybody to speak evil of what they believe in. That was why when that lady said, you are doing this, and began to say, no, 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 let me reply you. If me, I'm the only one you abuse, okay, but because this connected God, no, 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 I won't allow that. Say, I'm doing it before God of heaven, who prefer me to your father. When you are loyal, who will allow people to speak evil of your faith, evil of what you believe in, evil of the man of God you are following, evil of the church you believe in, you won't allow it. You can't be there, somebody speak evil and keep quiet. No way. Number three, when you are loyal, you will not allow anyone to rubbish or to run you down or run down your faith, what you believe in. When you are loyal, you'll be proud of what you believe in. I'm proud of what you are doing now. I'm proud of every group, every unit. I'm proud of everyone that are presented. Even the other I'm proud of everyone. Why? They are dancing unto God. Can somebody say it loud here? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your future is a colorful future. I find out why was just David preferred to all his brothers. And God just showed me these little things today. One of it is he have this art of gratitude. A man that can think. A man that was focused. A man that can reason. A man that knows how to appreciate God. A man that's ready to do anything crazy for God. There are some of us here in those days, before we give our life to Christ, we dance all kind of songs. All kind of sing, song. Yanko Kuo. Ode. Waki and die. Ode. Shop and quash. Ode. And we'll be jumping like somebody going up and down and doing kind of crazy thing. Now you are half Christ, you can't dance to go. Rise on your feet. Rise on your feet. 
in five minutes we will dance. And the first set of people will dance with me. If this is the only one you will use to redeem the one you have not done before, go ahead and do it. Today is a day of jubilation. And we need to do that before I anoint everyone. All children, it just happened, I don't know why, who are born in this ministry. Even if you have now become mother yourself, it doesn't matter. It's possible that somebody is a child and you have also begun by now. All children who are born, they gave back to you right inside this ministry. And you are here now. You know many of them are not here. I, they are the one that want to join me on the altar. We just want to dance to God. And everybody in the congregation can also join us to dance to God. Amen? If there are some of them that are babies, their parents can carry them. They are my first dancing partner for today. Can somebody say amen? amen? Look up here in a minute. David, have his secret and it worked for him. Everyone now, as you do this, it will work for you also. Amen. But don't forget this. In the midst of all those good things, there was a lady, a woman, who despised it. And you know what happened to her? That will not be our portion. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Okay. Let's bring them just let me just celebrate God with them. All children born in this house. Even if you are 20, I don't care your age. Come around. Because sometimes some of you feel you are now big. The rest of you join us as we dance. Okay. Do that. You are dancing. Are you dancing? Above. Come around here. Ten years and above. Come here. I want you here. Your lives will be better than our home. Amen. Everybody, I want to say, I said their life will be better than our home. Amen. There we enjoy grace. There we enjoy mercy. Amen. There we enjoy goodness. Now all of you look up here. I want you to dance. Who knows? One of you will go with scholarship today. So if you want to dance, better dance. Now, because I said scholarship, now you are ready. Amen. Go ahead. Oh yeah. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner. Oh yeah, that's 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 how you dance.
Amen. Lift up your hand to God. Pastor, give me the horn. Father, we have come today to thank you. We have worshipped you today. We have given our seed of jubilation. And the Bible says, and David return to bless the people. On my knees today, everyone whose amen will thunder. I declare you blessed. Ah, Malo Shasa. Oh, Luau, Baro Shasa. Eh, Kapo Sata Labo Shasa. Eh, Maraka Shata Labo Shata. Today, everyone who will say this, Amen, with all your strength, I declare you blessed. Wherever you go from this day, wherever you turn from this day, may the oil of preference be for you. In the midst of multitude, you will be preferred. Tito, you will be singled out. In the midst of multitude, you will be favored. In the midst of multitude, you will be selected. In the midst of multitude, you will be the one that will be singled out. Today, you are exempted. From evil, trouble, calamity, you are exempted. From everything that makes life undifficult, you are exempted. From death, accident, calamity, you are exempted. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover your household with the blood of Jesus. May the God of heaven and earth, the one that we have all come to worship, the one that we have danced to this morning, the one that we have given our gifts to this morning, arise and fight all our battles. To mock you, we regret they mocked you. Nibiton so pe ko si ona mo ikan laarin yin laarin ojo meje wakati meje ona la fun e o we had they said there is no way again one of you in seven days seven hours let there be a way for you i rebook devourer for your sake I reboot the enemy for your sake. I silent the evil one for your sake. Those who fight you will go down for you. Anyone waiting for your day of death, Kabosa Talabaya, they will wait in vain. Any form of conspiracy against you will not prosper. Every arrow fire that anyone here about to send her. I decree concerning one of you, they want you to be naked. You kept seeing yourself wearing nothing. Today, the hour of nakedness return to sender. Let that hour of nakedness return to sender. Let that hour of nakedness return to sender. No more setback. The evil cancer will not stand. Power of our foundation that have not allowed many of you to make fire, let that power catch fire. Oh, we delay to loan, it will be so key. Roru ko Jesu, Boba Shia, Mimeta, Ogunya, Shalene. Every battle from the household, from the village. That say you will not lift up your head. I saw Amen thunder three times. Let the battle expire now. <laughs> to somebody here whose Amen will thunder any moment from now, people will say to you, Congratulations. I repeat, they will say to you, Congratulations. They will say to you, Congratulations. They will say to you, congratulations. 
If your amen will thunder, congratulations! Before the end of this year, there will be multiple celebrations in this house. Multiple pregnancies. Multiple deliveries. Multiple marriages. Multiple housewarming. Multiple celebration of new jobs. Multiple celebration of contracts. Multiple celebration of divine relocation. Multiple celebration of obtaining visa. Everyone saying amen and And as we say amen, I pray you will not lack money. For your sake and the sake of your family, I reboot the spirit of poverty. I tear the garment of poverty. I reboot the spirit of poverty. If your own thunder enter into your season of prosperity. That secret enemy will be exposed and will be frustrated. Evil will not befall anyone. The homes you left behind, robbers will not break into your homes. Whoever is plotting, planning to do you evil, let fire go arrest them. There shall be no kidnapping among us. We will not lose anyone among our children. There shall be no sudden death. There shall be no loss. There shall be no accident. We will not bury our young ones. In this house, there shall be no loss. There shall be no law. Ah, thank you, Father. I just hear God ask me to announce to somebody here, what is coming will be double. Double. Opportunity. Employment. Lifting. Favor. Consideration. Appointment. Double. I said double. I repeat double. I repeat double. I repeat double. Under God, double for you now. Whoever here have received any bad prophecy, any negative dreams or vision, I stand in the name of Jesus. This covenant day of preference, one of the beauty of preference, you'll be exempted from negative things. I declare that dream, that vision, that prophecy as negative. I cancel it now. We call it the the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son, Amen. the Holy Ghost. Amen. I hear God ask me to announce to one of you, the helper will look for you to bless you. Come on, bear you. They will beg you to enjoy, to receive, to collect. There's one of you, by Tuesday, that miracle will have manifested. You are expecting that call, that test message. I speak it as I hear it. In the next 72 hours, let it come your way. Amen. God has me to announce to somebody here, you will never be put to shame. Amen. That matter has been programmed to bring shame, but God said the Lord, I cancel the shame. Oh, new red, we are you will not carry a load that is not your home. Because you are here today, receive mercy. Receive forgiveness. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Pastor, can I get one more? We do this in five minutes. Take. We are doing two things at the same time so that we can save time. Every first Sunday of every month, we have what we call here, um, we give our seed for the month, trusting God for the prophecy of the month. So, as you are coming up, there will be a basket there. You can drop whatever seed you have for your prophecy for the month. 2,000, 1,000, whatever. You will be dropping it so that we are anointing everybody here at the same time. Praise God. No, 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 no. Don't let this drop me. Just take it somewhere there. So, you have a 2,000, you have a 1,000, just bring it out right away. So, as you get here, and you just drop it before you get to me and anoint you. We just want to do that at the same time. And you decide from there, whatever you have, just be free to do it unto God. And somebody say, Amen. Amen. So I'll be anointing people here. My pastor will come. I'll ask him to go to the back. He'll be anointing the children so that we can save time. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you. 
Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Ashabahosa. Today, Lord, as according to your word, God, let this oil become oil of preference. Everyone here today is anointed for preference. And this is our covenant man when the Lord says we make a way. Wherever you go, wherever you turn, you will be preferred. As you say amen, you will be preferred. If there's any file, any document waiting for consideration, waiting for approval, any application, I speak by the Spirit of God, you will be preferred. As I hear your amen one more time, you will be preferred. Wherever you go, wherever you turn, as you say amen, you will be preferred. If your amen will turn that, you will be preferred. Father, we thank you. Let this grace be for everyone. Let this always be for everyone. In Jesus' name, we pray. Choir. That's it. I don't know if we can go to the back. Pastor will be coming to the back to meet the children. Labosha, Alahosa. Please do me a favor as I come in here. I want your mouth to be prophesying. Oh God, let the anointing of preference come upon me. As you prefer David, anywhere, let them prefer me. Go ahead. Lalabosha, sir. I cannot
60 seconds, go on your knees, just give God praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are worthy. 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 Two groups. Lord, you are worthy. There are two, two, two. Both of them. So both come first. What you see. Oh. 
some people was class was again our first class Come on, thank you, Lord. Come. Thank you. Oh, distinction. Oh, this. Be very beautiful. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. It's my point. Wow, 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 thank you, thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Lord. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Ah, we bless you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Whatever it cause sickness, infirmity, disease of any kind, as your amen thunder, you are not going on with it today. Whatever it cause sickness, disease, or infirmity of any kind. In the name that is above every name is not going on with you today. He sent forth his word and he will heal at them and deliver them from all their destruction, from every affliction of the enemy. As your amen turn that you are delivered. Even if something evil has been programmed to happen. Under God as your amen thunder, I cancel it now. Your destiny shall no longer be covered. Every one of you may your star begin to shine. Because you have spent time in his presence today, grace and glory is going on with you now. Whatsoever you suffer before now, everyone that will join me to say amen, you will suffer no more. Every good thing you are expecting, get ready. Because after now, there shall be manifestations. I will celebrate with you. I will celebrate with you. People will celebrate with you. The next invitation, the next announcement for Thanksgiving, it will come from your house. The virtue that I've gone for today will produce for everyone. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Let me hear your loud amen. As we begin to round up today's and 2022 Covenant Day of Jubilation, I'd like us to shout 22, hallelujah, this year 2022. As we shout that 22, shout it to the best of ability. Whatsoever need to drop from your body, from your system, we drop here today. Nobody will carry you many load. No one will carry you many body. Are you ready now? Everybody want to go shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 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 Okay. I am a God. 
As we share the grace, everyone who I know has always happened in some groups, you may have some little, little provisions to entertain yourself. Just celebrate with everybody. Is that clear? Assuming there is any. Just whatever it is, free, free, and just celebrate with anybody. This is a family, and we live as family. Am I talking to everybody here? No offense today. No what? Rejoice with everybody. Everybody have done well. So just celebrate and rejoice and be happy with everyone. Amen. Everyone should have a taste of something good. If for any reason there's no enough drink, enough either water or soft drinks in your group, pastors, just collect from wherever you can get for. Let everybody have at least a bottle. Let everybody Hallelujah. take and just be happy. Can somebody say amen? I know what, of, what you are expecting us for me to announce. So if I decide not to announce, now will you feel bad? Amen. I know there are about some people here, maybe one, two, three, four people that require impartation. I know what I'm saying. You came with your passport photograph, God told me, or with some document in your hand, because you are connecting it to what we are doing today. After we share the grace, I will hate you for about five minutes. I will lay hand on those things. Or you are going for an interview this week. Or any time from now. Our pastor will arrange you be orderly about it. I just lay hand on you and impart you. Is that clear? For this year, all groups have done well. Let's clap ourselves for ourselves. Like I said. Let for me, I will not announce any result. Because God said, everybody have done well. I don't have any problem. Amen. But if only to encourage all of us against next time to do better. And again, in agreement with the scripture, that God check things. Because if we are not balancing it, we will not help ourselves. Sometimes uh, it doesn't mean God doesn't, no, it doesn't mean it means so. Some people's Bible say they brought some money to the house of God. Is that correct? And Jesus was there to check. So why checking it? If not because he wants to teach us a lesson. And at the end of the day, he said, all of them have given so much, but there's a woman that gave more than everybody. I'm quoting the scripture. So she has only two and she has given it. And Jesus personally singled her out. That's to let you know he shared what we do. Am I talking about here? And wisdom is profitable. Everywhere we talk about the scripture today, we talk about a woman because of what she did. At a point also, the Bible said, God called Abraham and said, Abraham, come. Give me your son, the only one that you love. And he obeyed. And at the end of the day, God said, because you have done this, the Bible spoke about it, to teach us a lesson. The Bible says so many people are coming those days to give offerings to God. But Solomon gave more than everybody. God also talk about it. And at a point, God said, Solomon, why you all this sacrifice? Ask anything you want. So God can emphasize something and I will de-emphasize it. It's an error. Are we here together? Yeah. It's what? An error. An error. Even the one who gave two coins, Jesus recognized. So who am I? And then the Bible says, call Ken and Heber. Come and give me. And at the end of the day, he accepted one, he rejected the other. That to teach you and me lessons. That even what we are doing is checking it. And he expects us to do the best. He said, how many people are here? Ten of them. How many of them return? Only one. He spoke about it. Praise the Lord. If you don't work with balanced scripture, you just pick one message, 
or one a clinic or somewhere, and you will rub up yourself, and some people will be rising. Everyone will say, Amen, you will rise. Yeah. So that's why I apply my heart to wisdom to follow the two steps of those who are shining. Am I talking to anybody here? And I just share with you the secret of David because he danced different from everybody. But we give glory to God that for 2022, everybody have done well. One more time, let's put our hands together. We have two categories of evaluations from our pastors leaders here. They did the evaluation. And uh, unlike in the past, the Holy Ghost says, son, do something also for me. And so I, I sent for them to give me this also. <laughs> Amen. Why he asked me to do that, I don't know. But I also have to comply. So, so you also begin to do the own work. So at the end of the day, I will have to combine mine with the one they brought. And uh, this is somebody I will give. I won't give him more than this. As a matter of fact, for today, there's no one that came last. Nobody came last. So if you want to clap, clap now. When I combine what they did and mine, I discovered that in fourth position, fourth position, we have two people. So that means there's nobody that really came last. In third position, we have two again. You know, Pastor Toya earlier learned that the competitive the competition is uh, it's like everybody just said this year, no way. We go, we go, I don't machine. <laughs> Praise God. And then in first position, we also have two. But but I will add both today. Praise God. Everybody's looking now. God have mercy on me. Mama Shimashili, trying to help myself. You are trying to put me in one corner. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now, even when they say some people have distinction, is that close? Correct? First class, is that correct? Even in first class, there are still. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> even in first class, there are still first class. Because everybody says it's first class for everybody, that's all right. But if you get to the registry and you have to find the detail, there will be some point. <laughs> Praise God. But I'm so excited that all of us have done well this year. If you want to clap, go ahead and clap. So, should I announce the two that came first? They are now the ones that now have the first class. <laughs> <laughs> Church people, God have mercy. Amen. All right? In the first class or the distinction, we have two groups. So I'll mention the two first. Then I will now come and talk about. <laughs> Is that okay with everybody? So, from the two groups, we have two here. We have. Hey, why is silence everywhere now? <laughs> Let me say, the, I love all of you. <laughs> you're all my children, you're all done well. All right, so that I can say my head. Let me ask your pastor to come and announce you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Well, I love the competition, it's a challenge. If Jesus 